welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly WW meal prep. This week I have three absolutely delicious recipes coming your way, all of which are clean eating, full of good, nutritional, keep you full, satisfied food. I can't wait to share breakfast, lunch, and this week's homemade clean eating snack with you. So if you wanna see what I have in store for this week's meal prep, just stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind For my breakfast this week, I'm going to be making an oatmeal cookie baked oatmeal. That's a tongue twister. It sounds delicious. I substituted some whole ingredients, so it should be really filling and satisfying. So let me show you what is in this week's breakfast. First, you're going to need some rolled oats. You could probably use quick cook oats, but I'm just gonna use regular. I find these to be a little bit more satisfying and filling. Milk of your choice. I'm just gonna do some non-fat organic milk. You could do Fairlife. You could even do almond milk. I'm gonna be doing golden raisins, but you can do regular raisins as well. Unsweetened applesauce. Brown sugar alternative of your choice. I really like the sucrin. It's all natural, so it's a great alternative for brown sugar. You can purchase this off of Nettrition's website, and the link for Nettrition is down in the description box below. Also, you're going to need some salt, baking powder, an egg, butter of your choice. I have my melt plant-based butter cinnamon and nutmeg as well as some pure vanilla extract so let's get started on breakfast so let's get started with this breakfast i'm so excited for this you guys so first we're going to go ahead and add one and a half cups of unsweetened applesauce to a large bowl you want to have a good size bowl because we are going to be putting most of our ingredients in here we're also going to add one egg, and you know I always crack mine in advance so that I avoid the shell. I also melted down two tablespoons that I weighed out on my food scale of my plant-based butter. We also have one half of a cup of sucre and gold brown sugar. Add that. And then we're going to add some fun spices. So first a little bit of salt and that's just going to help bring out the flavor of the oatmeal. We're also going to do a little bit of ground nutmeg and this is where I say add as much as you see fit. I like my food really flavorful so I'm going to add a good amount and also some ground cinnamon. We need one teaspoon of baking powder so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then lastly, we are going to put in about a teaspoon worth of vanilla extract. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. You're gonna take a whisk and we're just going to whisk this together until fully combined. And then we're gonna add in our milk. Once that is nice and combined, we're gonna go ahead and add in our one and a half cups of milk. And again, you can use almond milk if that's your preference. And you wanna whisk this until it is nice and smooth. And lastly, we're going to add three cups of rolled oats. I just went ahead and measured those out and put them in a separate bowl. And then we have one cup of raisins. And again, I'm using the golden raisins. You really can use whatever raisins that you would like. We're gonna give this a stir until the oats and raisins are incorporated with our liquid. Lastly, we're gonna spray our nine by nine baking dish here with some nonstick cooking spray. And you wanna get that nice and coated that way your oat mixture doesn't stick to it through the cooking process and i'm just using the chosen foods avocado oil it's my favorite and then we are just going to pour our oat mixture into our greased pan we are ready to put this into our preheated oven it is preheated to 375 we're going to let this cook for about 45 minutes or until the oat mixture has no more liquid and it's a nice baked consistency but this looks delicious. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. This oatmeal cookie bake looks so good. I'm just gonna let this cool for just a couple of minutes. We're gonna cut this into six servings. I'm going to pair this with a fruit and probably eggs. So I'll put together my meal prep and I'll be back to show you that and give you the smart points. So here are breakfast for the week. This oatmeal bake I had, just the littlest bite is 
so good. It's sweet and cinnamony with the raisins. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Now you could go ahead and add some syrup, butter, kind of whatever you want. It is so good by itself. I'm just gonna warm it up and eat it as is. And then of course I'm pairing that with some blueberries. These are those organic blueberries. And then I'll probably make myself one or two eggs or maybe even have a hard boiled egg with breakfast for that little extra bit of protein. So let's go over the points for the oatmeal bake because the blueberries are zero points on all plans. So one sixth of the oatmeal bake, which is all of this, this is a good amount, is going to be three smart points on the purple plan and seven on both blue and green. So with eggs and blueberries, this is a seven smart point breakfast for me on the blue plan. For my lunches this week, I'm going to be making a Jamaican chicken sheet pan recipe. I'm so excited about this. It is so low in smart points. You have a ton of veggies, chicken, all the things. So let me show you what is in this week's lunch. First, you're going to need some chicken. I'm gonna be using about three breasts. These are not huge, and the recipe calls for two large chicken breasts. So I'm gonna do three medium. Also, you'll need two mangoes, a red onion, a zucchini, salt and pepper. I have some cinnamon, cayenne pepper, thyme, garlic powder, and I'm using Chinese five spice in place of allspice just because I like it so much better. And then again, I'm using sucrin, and this is linked in the nutrition link down in the description box. Click on that, go over to nutrition, and you can find the sucrin gold. Gold. You'll also need some red potatoes or potatoes of your choice. I also have some tricolor peppers. I'm gonna be using all three of these, even though the recipe only calls for two because this orange one is pretty small. So I'm gonna go ahead and do them all. And then I'm adding Brussels sprouts because I love Brussels sprouts, as you know. So I'm gonna roast up some of these alongside the peppers and the potatoes. So let's get started on this week's lunch. For our lunch, we have quite a lot of chopping to do. So I went ahead and washed and dried all of my veggies. Even though they are organic, I still like to wash them. So I measured out one pound of the red potatoes, my three bell peppers, zucchini, red onion, and Brussels sprouts. Once we're done with all of this, we'll also have to cut up our mango and get our chicken ready. But let's start cutting up veggies. I'm gonna be putting the potatoes here in this bowl. They need to be kept separate from the veggies and then all the veggies will go in here. So let's chop. That you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see But never, never, ever, ever seemed to be over, I saw So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me, oh, oh, oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me Let's get our rub put together so that we can get everything into the oven. So first in a little bowl here, we're gonna go ahead and add some pepper. And again, I just kind of wing the measurements. I will have them down in the description box for you to follow. A little bit of salt, two tablespoons of sucrin brown sugar, garlic powder, and as you guys know, I like a lot of seasoning. So I kind of just over overdo the spices, a little bit of thyme. So I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of that. My Chinese five spice, I'm gonna go a little light on that because I am adding in cinnamon as well. So some cinnamon. And then lastly, I'm gonna put in some cayenne pepper. And I don't like my food very spicy. So I'm just gonna add just the tiniest bit of that. And then we're just gonna stir this together. And then this is the rub for everything that we're gonna be putting on this Jamaican chicken sheet pan. So we're gonna get our chicken ready to go. So I put my cut up chicken in a bowl here. We're gonna add in about a tablespoon and a half 
of the rub that we made and just the tiniest bit of oil. I just have avocado oil here. Not even enough to count as a point. And we are going to mix this all together. Make sure our chicken gets nice and coated with our rub. And this is going to go on one of our two baking sheets that we need for this recipe. Now we're gonna get our potatoes ready to go. We're gonna add about another tablespoon and a half or so to our potatoes and another tiny little drizzle of avocado oil and stir those up until our potatoes are coated. And then they're just gonna be added to the same baking sheet as our chicken. I'm just gonna kind of arrange them around the chicken. Now we're ready to throw this into a 425 degree preheated oven for about 10 minutes. We're gonna give it a good flip and let it cook about another 15. And the reason for that is the chicken and the potatoes are going to cook slower than the vegetables. So we'll actually roast those kind of midway through the cooking process of these. So let's get these in the oven. And while those are in the oven, I've got my big huge bowl here of the rest of my veggies. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the remainder of my rub. And again, just another drizzle, maybe a teaspoon or so of olive oil. The amount that we're using does not add any points to the recipe once you kind of divide it out. So we're gonna go ahead and just mix this together the best that we can. And then this is going to go on another sheet pan. I'm going to go ahead and add some more avocado oil to the top here, and I'm just going to count an extra point per serving. I want my veggies nice and crispy, and this is just a really great way to get in some healthy fats, and this recipe is extremely low smart point, so no problem for me adding one extra point for the avocado oil. So there they are, and we'll get these put in the oven once we get the chicken and the potatoes flipped and cooked again for about 20-25 minutes. I just pulled the potatoes and chicken out. It's been about 10 minutes or so. So I'm just gonna give them just kind of a quick mix. You just wanna make sure that they get stirred up a little bit so that they can get nice and crispy and cooked through. But it smells really delicious. I can smell all that delicious Jamaican kind of spice to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in for another 15 minutes. While everything's cooking in the oven on the sheet pans, I just put the veggies in. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my mangoes, but I wanna show you guys a little trick. Now this works better when your mangoes are like super duper ripe, and I just you know bought these at the grocery store, so they're not as ripe as I would like, but this is a great trick. If you slice off your mango and you take a glass, now again, of course, the riper your mango is, the easier this works but you're just gonna slide your glass right along the shell here of your mango or the peel, and then your mango comes out perfect. Look at that. This comes out clean of the mango, and you've got a nice big chunk that you can slice up. So that's a little trick for you when it comes to making cutting up a mango just a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these mangoes done and ready to go because this is gonna top that Jamaican chicken sheet pan and it's gonna be so good. So I'm gonna get these sliced out of their rind here and diced up for lunch. I ever seem to be over, I saw So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh oh, oh. Potatoes and chicken are out of the oven. Look at how good this looks, you guys. Yum. The veggies are still in for about another 10 minutes. Then we'll put together these bowls with the mango, and I'll show you exactly what I'm having for lunch. All right, veggies are out. Look at how good these look. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. So veggies, chicken, and potatoes. So let's put these bowls together, and I'll show you what I'm having for lunch and give you the smart points. So my sheet pans here make four servings. So I'm just basically going to wing the vegetables and the chicken. I'm gonna try to be 
even with the potatoes and try to get you know that equal four servings but i'm going to go ahead and put about one fourth of my veggies in the bottom of each of my meal prep bowls sorry about my arm and then we'll go ahead and top it with the chicken and the potatoes and then i'll kind of show you how i'm going to do the mango and what this is all going to look like when we're ready to eat it for lunch so I've got my veggies divided out as equal as I can into my four bowls. Then I'm gonna go ahead and divide the chicken and potato bake here into these bowls. We're just gonna go ahead and top it with the chicken and the potato. And again, I am making four servings total, so I'm gonna do my absolute best to get as even as possible in my bowls here of the chicken and the potatoes. Look at these bowls, they look so good. I mean, this is a huge bowl, and it is full of those delicious veggies, chicken, potatoes. What I did is went ahead and bagged up my mangoes as even as I could as well. And I, as you know, mango is zero smart points. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a bag of my mango pieces to each of my bowls. And then that's it, you guys. That's the Jamaican chicken sheet pan. And what I'll do is I'll just pop the mango out before I warm it up. And then we'll mix that mango in with the veggies and the chicken. It should be delicious. And then I'm going to pair that just with some strawberries for a little bit of extra fruit on the side. And then for dessert, I'm going to have one of these organic dark chocolate with real wild main blueberry squares. These are so good, you guys. Let me open these up for you. This is what they look like, and I can just smell blueberry. They are so good. And you can have one square for two smart points. They have really good ingredients. For the most part, there's one questionable ingredient, but these are really good, so that's two points. And then for the bowls, let's walk through the smart points. So the way I prepared my sheet pan, I used avocado oil. So it is three smart points per bowl on the blue plan. That's it, you guys. One on purple and six on the green plan. If you opt not to use any oil, it would reduce it by one smart point. So it would be two smart points on the blue plan, zero on the purple, and five on the green but always incorporating a healthy fat whenever possible is a really good idea. So me on the blue plan, this is going to cost me three smart points. All of this, three smart points. Strawberries are zero and then two for the chocolate. This is a five smart point, clean eating, healthy lunch. For a snack this week, we're going to be making a clean eating homemade granola bar. The granola bars in the store for the most, most part are full of terrible ingredients. So we're gonna make a homemade one that has real whole food, so good, low smart point. So let's jump into what is in our homemade granola bars. First you'll need some almond milk. I'm just going to be using my Forager organic cashew milk. This stuff is delicious, you guys. If you can find it in your area, it is worth the extra money. It is so good. Also, you'll need some rolled oats, chia seeds, some sort of peanut butter or mixed nut butter, honey, as you know, I love the organic raw honey from Trader Joe's, vanilla extract and cinnamon, and you'll need some dried fruit so I have some dried bean cherries. They have no added sugar. I also have some 50% less sugar craisins. I could not find any cranberries that were dried that didn't have any sweetener. So I am gonna be using those. And then you saw me haul the currants in my grocery haul. So the only one of these dried fruits that I'm gonna be counting is the craisins. The rest of these I count as zero because they are literally just dried fruit, nothing added to them. Also, you'll need a banana and a packet of sweetener. I just happen to have this Splenda Stevia. Not my favorite, but I'm gonna go ahead and use up what I have. So let's jump into our homemade granola bars. So I've got my stove warming up here. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our half of a cup of almond milk or whatever milk that you are using. To that, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle in just a little bit of our ground cinnamon. And again, do this to your liking. I like a lot of cinnamon, so I'm just gonna add quite a bit here. And then we're gonna add just the smallest amount of vanilla extract as well. And then I started kind of mashing up my banana, but we're gonna go ahead and add in a banana and we're gonna mash it up 
as it cooks. Then that way when our banana comes out in the mix here, it's gonna be nice and combined. And then lastly, on my food scale, I measured out two tablespoons of mixed nut butter and raw honey. And we're gonna go ahead and add that. And as we're cooking, we are gonna go ahead and kind of again, smash that banana, get it nice and just really become a mash in the mixture of the milk. The peanut butter mix here is off the stove. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that aside. To a bowl, we're gonna add one cup of oats. You can use rolled oats or quick cook. Again, I prefer rolled oats, so I'm using that. And then I have one cup of, or one quarter cup of craisins, currants, and dried cherries. So I'm gonna add that. I just measured them all in one cup. It was a little bit easier that way one tablespoon of chia seeds, and one packet of sweetener of your choice. So there's that. We're gonna go ahead and give that a mix. We wanna make sure that everything's mixed together really well and nice and combined. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the hot banana peanut butter milk yumminess that we have here to our oats. So we're gonna add that, give it another stir. We want our oats completely coated and wet. We want everything to be nice and wet before we put this into a eight by eight or nine by nine dish. I'm gonna line it with some parchment paper and then we'll get these granola bars ready to go. Go ahead and pull out your baking dish here. We're gonna go ahead and line it with some parchment paper. And then we're gonna put that oat mixture right on top. And by having the parchment paper, it's just going to make pulling the granola bars out once they're done so much easier. So make sure that they stay on the parchment. And we're just gonna go ahead and spread those out. They are gonna be fairly thin and they're gonna be about the consistency and thickness of a traditional granola bar. You know, maybe like the Nature Valley ones. So they are gonna be a little bit on the thin side, but we're just gonna go ahead and spread that delicious oat mixture out here on our parchment paper. And then this is gonna actually go into the refrigerator overnight or for several hours. So I am gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and I'll be back a little bit later today when they've set and we'll cut them up and I'll share the smart points. So I just pulled out the granola bars from the refrigerator. Oh my gosh, you guys, these look so delicious. I cut them into eight servings. So you can see they are really, really good size for the smart points. So this is one serving. So this is a homemade granola bar with all clean ingredients. Look at how amazing and delicious that looks. So let me give you the points for whether you count your dried fruit or not. So if you want to count the dried fruit, one bar, which is one eighth of the recipe, is five smart points on both blue and green and four on purple. If you are not going to count the fruit other than the craisins, it is three smart points per bar on the blue and green plan and only two smart points on purple. So I'm actually going to be counting this as three points because like I mentioned, I am not counting for the dried currants or cherries because there's no added sugar. So what a great clean eating snack, kids, adults. Everybody will love these with that peanut butter and that honey and you can't beat it for the smart points. So here are my snacks that I just have on hand for the week. I get a lot of questions. No, I don't eat all of these every day. These are just some snack options. I have not been snacking as much, maybe once a day. So I just like to have some options on hand. So I did haul these from Costco. These are the Wisps cheese crisps. There are individual little bags, which is great. There's Parmesan and then there is, oops, there's also cheddar cheese. There we go also cheddar cheese. They're three to four smart points for the little bag. They're great because literally all they are is cheese. So it has really good ingredients and they're just a great protein snack to have if you're hungry. And what I like to do with these is dip them in hummus. So you guys know this is my favorite hummus, the Hope Organic Kale and Pesto. So I can dip these in some of this and you can actually have 
three tablespoons of this hummus for one or for two smart points. So you actually get an extra tablespoon and it's so delicious. So my little cheese crisps and my hummus. And then I also have my coconut crispy rollers from Costco. You guys know I love these. You can have five of them for three points. So if I'm wanting something kind of sweet, I'll gravitate towards those. And then I am still having built bars. I love them. You guys know I love my built bars. This is a great snack. It keeps me nice and full. Speaking of built bars, starting tomorrow there is three new flavors coming out and a huge promotion so definitely stay tuned here on youtube and over on my facebook group there's a link down in the description box to join that and i'll put it here on the screen for you guys but stay tuned because it is an amazing deal and three new that sound delicious flavors also just to let you know the peanut butter brownie toffee nut and banana nut bread are now permanent flavors. So that is super exciting. The nut based bars with the exception of the coconut almond are four smart points. All of the rest of the built bars, this one included the black cherry chocolate are three smart points. These are delicious. You guys, these taste nothing like a protein bar. They literally taste like a candy bar. They kind of have a marshmallowy texture, but if you throw them in the refrigerator or freezer, it changes that texture and they're just really, really delicious and they keep you nice and full because they're packed with protein fiber and fat and fat and fiber and protein are important in keeping you satiated so three to four smart points a bar I eat these all the time daily pretty much if you're interested in built bar my code here on the screen will get you 10% off in free shipping and there's a link down below if you just click the link it'll automatically take you to their website and apply the discount but you guys Definitely stay tuned tomorrow and order some Bilt Bars. So those are my snacks for the upcoming week. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. Everything is clean, food, delicious, wholesome, and I cannot wait for breakfast, lunch, and snack this week. All of the recipes are linked down in the description box below, as well as all of my links and discount codes to some of my very favorite things. So definitely check out the description box also is the link to join my Facebook group. I'd love it if you'd head on over and join us. We have over 14,000 members. It's very supportive, warm, and welcoming. Lots of great tips, tricks, recipes, you name it. It happens over on my Facebook group. So I'd love it if you would head on over and join us there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a meal prep every single Monday. So you're always getting clean, wholesome, good food recipes that are WW friendly. So make sure you're subscribed and your little notification bell is turned on so that you don't miss a single video thumbs up this one if you love meal prep and comment below let me know what do you guys think of the clean eating recipes in this video and are they something that you're gonna give a try thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and I'll see you in my next video bye guys